question for you. Today, we're going to be talking about decisions and the confidence behind your decisions. Now, every single day, we all have to make decisions. Now, my question for you is, I'm curious, I want you guys to think, how many decisions have you made today? What do you, think of a number. If you were to take a guess, how many decisions you've done today alone, up until this moment? I'll give you guys a second, because I'm gonna tell you exactly how many decisions you've made and how many decisions you'd make in the course of a day. What the average human being does is they decide between 33 to 35,000 times a day. That's how many times. You've probably made a few thousand decisions. Most of these decisions are very basic, small decisions like which hand you're going to use to brush your teeth or what you're going to have for dinner. So they add up very fast. But once in a while, an important decision in your life has to happen. Once in a blue moon, we have these decisions. They could happen maybe on a daily basis. Maybe they could, if they're, you know, an important decision is are you going to go into work today? That's probably an important one. Or what you're going to do today a little bit more or what you're going to learn or what school you're going to go to whether you're going to go to college or whether you're going to start working right away out of high school. Some decisions are, should I buy a house? When do I get a car? Should I get married? Should I have kids? The decisions start growing. And I'll give you a hint. I think the, the adults in this room know that the longer you live, the bigger the decisions they tend to be, right? So you know, when we're younger, the decisions are a little bit less significant than in the future. So there's two ways, there's two emotions that trigger a decision. Only two in the human body that will allow you to decide on something. You're either gonna be impulsive or you're gonna be confident in your decision, okay? Impulsive decisions is when you get very excited, you see something shiny in front of you and you wanna have it. If it's, uh, you see a bunch of candy and pizza in front of you, we know it's, they're bad for you and you're gonna go after and you're gonna eat it all and you'll regret it later. Those are the impulsive decisions. Those are the ones that distract us in life to sometimes do things that aren't the best for us. What I'm going to tell you about, what I'm going to teach you today is about the decisions that you're going to make that are going to be important for you. I want you to be certain that you're going to make the right decision. And that comes from confidence. You have to be confident in your decision to know that this is 100% the right decision to take, no matter what that decision is in life. Now, you don't have to be a confident person to be confident in making that decision. You could be very, the most shy person in the world. Shy people make 35,000 decisions a day as well. It's irrelevant of your personality, whether you're introverted or extroverted. If you're about to make a decision, you need to know deep down inside that this is the right one. In order to be confident, it's actually the easiest formula ever. In order for you to be confident in your decision, it's very, very simple. You have to obsess and study the topic. It's just that clear. Data drives all decisions, okay? And by data, it's not just numbers. Data could be opinions. We could take 100 people in a room and ask them about a topic. Each individual person will give an opinion. However, by the end of it, we're gonna have data. It's gonna say, you know, 33% of the people in this room gave this same opinion. Then another 10% gave something else. That's data, there's no debate in data. There's no excuses, there's no opinion to it. If the light is green, that means go. Most times that's, there's only one answer. Two plus two is always four. There's no opinion. So in any decision you're ever gonna make in your life, whether it's what school you're gonna go to, or what career you wanna take, or um, uh, what, what you wanna buy, what person, maybe it's the person that you wanna be in a relationship with, maybe whatever the milestone is, you have to, gather data. Now I'm going to give you a couple tips on how do you gather information? How do you study a topic? The best part about our generation is very simple. YouTube. YouTube is wonderful. So I went a little bit about myself. I went, for, uh, I went to Ryerson University for engineering and I spent four years sitting in a lecture hall similar to this studying the topic of engineering. I spent in my 20s more hours on YouTube than I did in my, my entire four-year engineering program because the answers are out there. YouTube's a wonderful place. The people around you is data. If someone, if, you, if you're gonna go and buy a home for the very first time, you probably have several family members that have bought a home. So what do you do? You ask them questions and you learn from them and you gather the data, right? If you have, uh, if you have an interest in reading books, whatever decision you're about to make, you have to study it. So books. YouTube, people around you, 
For me, very easy. If I want something and I need to decide on it, I look for the person who has it and I just go and ask them, how did you get it? And I get that information. But you have to get enough information to make a decision. You can't just go to one person, ask them about a topic, and then just go off of that. You have to go to several people. So for me, I've changed my careers three times. I went from engineer to owning a car wash to now owning a recruitment company. Three totally different industries, and I won in every single one of them. But before I made the move, I spent, before between my first career to my second, I spent one whole year talking to people and gathering data before I made the decision, okay? Then going from selling my first business and going to my second business, I spent two years obsessing about a topic and learning, talking to people, going on YouTube, reading books, and from there, it was a very clear decision. So most people say, if you want to start your own business, it's a risk. For me, it never felt like a risk because I spent so much time obsessing over the topic that it was so clear that if I didn't do it, I felt like I was stupid if I didn't do it. Because the data said, if you do this, this is what you get. And at some point in time in your life, the bigger the decision is, the more data you need to gather, the more information you need to have. Some decisions could be done right away. Okay, some big decisions could be done in five minutes. Like if I wanted to jump off of a bridge into a river and I want to do it and survive it, I still need that information. I look, how deep is the water? 20 feet, not two feet, okay. How high is the bridge? It's 10, 10, stories, not, 10 meters, not 10 stories. So okay, that's safer. And you start calculating to then say, you know what? Yeah, I could jump off this bridge and it's going to be the best day ever and it's going to be a great story. But the people that made the decision impulsively are the ones that die when they fall off the bridge because they say, I'm just going to jump off, but they didn't gather information and they didn't know the water was only two feet deep and then they died. <laughs> Sorry to take it in such a drastic way, but that is the difference between impulsive and confidence. And confidence comes from getting information and asking questions. So with that said, guys, every decision you take in your life, slow it down. Think about it, get the information, get educated, and that's going to drive the confidence. You could take the most shy person in the world, and they could be so confident when they decide on what they're going to do next in their life. Thank you for having me, everybody.